Okay, we'll get started. Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? Is it, isn't it nice in here? It's nice and cool. It is 90 degrees out there, can you believe it? But at least the wind have died down. So we're able to go forward because I heard that last Friday, because of the winds, the, the solar decathlon was actually closed down because it was way too windy. So I was afraid that this was also going to be canceled because of the winds, but it, you know, the alert's still out there. So for those of you who, are not, who have allergies, please you know, be very careful. But um, again, welcome. Welcome to the How to Make Your Home Green uh, workshop. Has anyone have had a chance to see the ABC Green Home out here? You have. Isn't that a wonderful house? What that is, is it is a house built by Southern California Edison. It is a net zero house. Is, uh, is everybody, I'm going to just assume that not everybody is familiar with what a net zero house is and give you guys a little explanation. A net zero house is a house that actually uses 60 to 70 percent less, uh, less electricity than an ordinary house. And the rest of the energy or electricity that is needed to run that home runs from renewable energy. So isn't it wonderful? that we've actually built, or uh, Southern California Edison was actually able to build this house. And the reason for them building the house is it was actually an experiment to show uh, the builders, the, the uh, production builders, you know, those builders that are, that are building hundreds of homes in, a, you know, in, in one tract. It's, it's to show them that you can actually build this house today at an affordable price and it, it, it can cost anywhere from 85 to 125,000 I'm sorry 85 to 125 dollars a square foot to build that house and so that house the green uh, the ABC greenhouse was actually built uh, I think altogether it totaled to 204,000 so would everybody here agree with me that uh, an energy efficient uh, uh, net zero home that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful, is worth it for 204,000. You know, so that we can actually build, start to build this home today, rather than waiting till 2020, when, you know, uh, California is actually trying to get to net zero by 2020, meaning that all new houses built by 2020 needs to be uh, net zero, okay? So, my name is Marcia Tolentino, I am the Real Estate Outreach Project Manager for Build It Green. Build It Green is a nonprofit organization that advocates for energy and resource efficient green homes. I'm also a realtor. And just to give you a little background about myself, uh, because I am a realtor, I was um, tasked with helping coach clients, meaning sellers, on how to avoid foreclosures in you know starting in 2007 on and that was a very very difficult task because at the end of the day when you are coaching homeowners on how to avoid foreclosure at the end of the day that means either they get a loan modification which is good for them but if they're not able to get a loan modification because they don't have a job or they don't have a, an income anymore that is sufficient to pay for their home mortgage, their only other choice to avoid foreclosure is to short sale. So with that said, that was a very, very, very tough thing for me because these clients have become my friends. And, um, I wanted to do something that's going to make a difference and actually impact other people's lives. Uh, so I started to learn about energy efficiency and green homes, and here I am. I am now with an organization, again with Build It Green, which is a wonderful, wonderful organization, and I am, my, my main task is to bring education and awareness to not only homeowners, but also to realtors so that they can then uh, educate their clients in regards to 
how to save energy on their utility bills, as well as how to create a home that is more comfortable and healthier. Right? Isn't that awesome? Anyway, so my objectives here today is to um, help you define what an energy efficient green home is, what are the values of these uh, green homes, as well as talk about the various resources out there, as in rebates and financing uh, options that will help uh, home buyers, home sellers, as well as home owners do these types of repairs to their homes. So, in our day-to-day -day -day lives, we all wear many, many hats, right? We have very different roles on, you know, on, on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. I myself was a, a single mom. I raised two boys on, you know, on my own. Um, I was an employee. I was working for, uh, for another organization. And I couldn't afford uh, a cook or a chef, so I had to be my own chef for my kids because I just couldn't get my, I couldn't see myself, my, my kids growing up with fast food. So I always made sure that my kids had fresh food and so being uh, you know, the person in charge of raising the, the children by myself, I was also a COO, as well as having to um, uh, meet budget. So I was also the CFO, correct? So I'm sure all of us here in this room have also wear many, many hats. So the word efficiency is and was very important to me because I had to do the most things in the least amount of time. So being efficient to me is being able to do more with less. Correct? Does everybody here agree with me on that? So what then is energy efficiency? Energy efficiency is uh, where it, it enables us to use less energy and get to the same outcome, correct? So energy efficiency is using less energy to provide the same service. As you can see here in our illustration, it looks like it was a, during a cold, a cold season where uh, the family are wearing coats and hats or you know, hats and uh, scarves to keep themselves warm. But as you can see, there are dollar dollars flying out the flying out the roof flying out the windows and your walls and things like that so we're not how do you live comfortably where you know you don't want to have to turn off your heater and have to wear all these all the blankets and the jackets inside your home you don't uh, during the winter and you don't want to have to turn off your air conditioner and you know and be uncomfortable we want you to stay comfortable but how do you do that and at the same time uh, save money on your utility bills the only uh, does, does everybody remember how the, the transfer of heat happens okay um, the, the heat is always attracted to the cold okay as so in the summer there's, we all we all have a room in our home where it is always really, really hot in the summer. You just cannot make that room comfortable unless you keep the air conditioning on 24/7, correct? And the same room in your house is acts the opposite way during the winter. It's always, always, always too cold. You can't keep it comfortable. And the reason for that is you know, the, the heat, the, it's always moving. We can't stop it. The only thing we can do is actually slow it down, right? But how do you slow it down? By installing insulation on your attic, on your subfloor, on your walls, you know, etc. There are many things that you can do to actually make your home um, lose energy that fast. You can slow it down, you can't move it. I mean, you can't, you can't stop it but you can slow it down. So that is exactly what we're asking people to do, is to be more energy efficient. And um, we're not asking you to uh, 
not use, uh, 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 we're not asking you to conserve energy. We're not asking you to uh, keep your, your heaters off or keep your lights off or keep your air conditioning off. We don't want you to sit there in the dark and have and light candles. We want you to be, we want you to be comfortable, correct? So, with that said, um, what then is a green home? A green home, like it says there, is a home designed to be environmentally friendly while also focusing on the efficient use of energy, water, and building materials. We want to be able to look at this home as the whole house or the whole system working together. We don't want to be able, we don't want to look at the house as each component of the house working uh, individually by itself, right? Like looking at your window or looking at your air, uh, air conditioning system or your insulation or what have you, or your roof, white roof, what have you. You want to be able to look at the whole house as a system working together. For example, we, as we, when we work with people, which many of us work with people, when we work together as a team, we're much, much more efficient, correct? So it's very similar to uh, a green home. It's a whole system working together. It actually incorporates the five principles of indoor air quality, community living, energy and resource efficiency, as well as water conservation. And again, uh, water conservation meaning looking for ways to not waste as much water. We're not asking you to take less showers, for God's sake. We just want you to, to be a little bit more aware, okay? So what are the values that green homes actually bring to the table? A very recent study showed, it was a USA, UCLA study actually, showed that a home with a green label actually commands a 9% premium when compared to a home without a label, label. Okay, let me repeat that. A home with a green label actually commands a 9% premium over a home in a, com in a comparable market without a green home. As a home buyer or home seller or a home owner, is that something, uh, is that uh, information that would benefit you? Right? You know, at a, uh, you know that, that to me as a, as a homeowner, as a realtor, that is something that I feel that is very important that, you know, I, to educate my clients on. Okay, so a green, uh, actually let me tell you a little bit about a study that we recently uh, did with uh, Build It Green. We did um, a pilot program where we, uh, we transformed uh, an ordinary home that was going up for sale in the market and uh, made that home energy efficient and put a green label on it. This, uh, the, we, oh, we did the open house on the, on the home, a broker's open on July 4th, so we called it the American Green Home. And believe it or not, this was last year, July 4th. So market hasn't quite caught up yet, right? It, it hasn't yet quite recovered yet. And this home actually sold in two days and commanded and got 11% over the comparables in the market. And to this day, that new homeowner, that actually the person that actually bought the home, still participates in our program and makes himself available for interviews and, and, and such things because he's very proud of his home. You know, this home was in Walnut, California. Are you guys familiar with Walnut, California? Very, very hot out there. So he, he gets a kick out of watching his neighbor's air conditioning system that his, uh, his neighbor's air conditioning system during the summer actually was on 24-7, whereas his air conditioner only turned on twice for the whole summer. And he averages $70 a month on his electricity bill, and he keeps the, the temperature in the house at 70 degrees. How would everybody like to have their, their thermostat 
in the house set at 70 degrees and have a $70 a month utility bill. Isn't that awesome? So, a green labeled home not only sold at a higher price, but it also sold faster, which means for a home seller, it had less carrying costs, right? So you're, not only did you pro make more profit, but you saved money while your house was in the market. Also, according to a National Association of Realtors study or survey, a home seller and a home buyer actually considers the home's environmentally friendly features to be very important to them. So why are these home buyers willing to pay more for these products? Because they're more, again, uh, as I said earlier, they're more comfortable, they're healthier and safer, they're less expensive to operate because they, they consume less energy, they're more durable and easier to maintain. Because, and again, and, and another thing, because healthy homes actually creates healthy families, right? And as my niece Solani says, it's A-OK -okay with that. Um, that this, you know, the discussion around green homes brings to mind an old vaudeville, vaudeville, vaudeville routine of an Arkansas traveler that went something like this. Your room, your roof seems to be leaking. Do you plan on fixing it? Well, not right now. It's raining too hard. Well, then why not when it's when the sun is shining? It's not raining then. So it goes to show that if it's not in our face, we don't we don't talk about it, we don't think about it. But if you really stop to think, what does a leaky faucet or a leaky roof do to the home environment? It causes mildew, it causes mold, it causes infestation and, and pests because of the spores that are coming into the home, correct? And those are words that we don't want to talk about, most especially when we're going to be selling our home, right? And also, how important is it to pre how important is it to you to prevent your loved ones from suffering due to unhealthy air? We all know that uh, respiratory diseases is very prevalent out there. I have family members in the audience. Thank you so much for your support. Here I am. Uh, my, my, my brother is here, Philip, as well as Cholo and PJ and my sister-in-laws. Therese and Bobby, as well as my niece and my two nephews, Alexis, Jared, and Christian. Where's my dad? Oh, and my father is here as well. Oh my God, what a surprise. Uh, <laughs> you know, I have to share this because now that I see my dad here, uh, over 30 years ago, or a little over 30 years ago, because my kids and my, my other brother's kid, children are a little over 30 now, but I remember, you know, 30 years ago, my father kept talking to us about environmental engineering because my dad's an architect. He knew that this was an up and coming you know, industry, but we didn't listen to him. And here I am now talking about energy efficiency. But anyway, so back to what I was saying, we all know that respiratory diseases is very prevalent these days. According to the California Disease Control, that many, many tens of millions of Americans have actually been diagnosed with respiratory diseases within the last 10 years. And the American, uh, the, the, the medical industry does not understand why. It's because our indoor air quality is two to ty five times worse than it is outside. So be, being able to not, make, to not only uh, save money on your utility bills, you're also going to be improving your loved one's health, um, as uh, my, my sister-in-law has is very cro he has chronic asthma and she suffers from this all the time. So I'm so glad that my family members are actually here because this is the very first time that they've ever heard me speak or actually allowed me, they came here to hear me, to, allowed me to teach them about energy efficiency and how these homes are actually more healthier. So thank you very much, the Tolentino family. 
So, um, how would a homeowner actually identify a home that is green versus a home that is not green, right? Is it merely a seller's opinion or claim that their home is, is, is uh, a green home because they have a dual flush toilet or an, you know, a low flow shower heads or a low flow faucets? No, we, um, how many here, how many people here, let me ask, how many people here actually buy organic vegetables and fruits? By a raise of hand. And how, you're willing to pay a little extra, right? And how do you know that those fruits and vegetables are actually organic? Are you relying on the label? Yeah, we, we mainly rely on the label because we know that the, the, the grocery stores or what have you, it's not just gonna put that on the shelf because it's gonna carry a lot of liability for them, correct? So a green labeled home is the same thing. It's like having a, 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 a seal that says that this home actually went through a stringent, uh, an astringent process to make this home green, okay? A green labeled home is, a, is third party verified. It, it, it co creates consumer confidence, just like when we're buying those fruits and vegetables. We're confident that this actually is a healthy product for us, correct? Uh, it generates market value. That's why we're, a, we're willing to pay a little bit extra for that. And, of, and it also creates differentiate, different, differentiation as well as avoids greenwashing. Greenwashing is a term that we use in our industry to say that, you know, um, a Home Depot, you know, green your home on a weekend and insulate your home. That those are, I, I don't know if I should have said that, but uh, those, <laughs> those are the type of advertising that are greenwashed, okay? So, green point rated is, uh, let me go back. The green homes label that are, that are out there that's uh, uh, available to you are lead for homes. Green point rated, Energy Star, and uh, NAHB National Green Building Program. These are just some of the green label out there that is available to homeowners. So, a green, a green point rated home is a green label for homes of all vintages. Most of the homes here in the United States were uh, built between the 1920s and the 1950s, right? So most of those homes have either very little to no insulation, there's a lot of infiltration as, as far as uh, moisture and air and all that stuff is concerned. A green point rated label is an entry level, uh, it's, it's an entry point to a, uh, a green label. It takes the guesswork out of understanding on how to actually improve your home and make it green. Uh, the green point rated label is like having a report card or a nutrition value pasted on your wall or on your home to say, to, to, to prove that it's actually a green labeled home. It represents the gold standard in green homes. Um, the entry level for green point rated existing home is uh, elements label. This is a great stepping stone for homeowners who are making small improvements over time, as well as those homeowners that are uh, uh, ready to do some small remodel or an addition. And when, as you, as you accumulate more uh, upgrades, you can actually go up to a whole house label, and also these are these. The, this label is a great program for those homeowners that are going to be doing a major renovation or a gut a gut remodel. And earlier, I spoke with you about several resources that we can actually utilize out there to help the cost to help offset the cost of repairs. So, Energy Upgrade California is a statewide program that actually helps homeowners such as yourselves or home buyers, if we have some in the audience, uh, to help offset the cost of these energy efficient repairs. It provides rebates and incentives to help you pay for those repairs. 
as, a, as somebody that's going to be doing some of these um, energy efficient repairs, you can, you can get up to $4,500 in rebate money. This is a great program for home buyers, also home sellers that is considering doing some improvements to the home prior to putting their house on the market. Someone who's going to be undergoing a remodeling project, someone thinking of replacing or installing a new HVAC system, as well as installing some insulation or replacing your old windows. Everybody's always looking for a good deal, right? Yeah? Who, who here, is anybody, by a raise of hand, who here is not, look, that doesn't look for good deals? My dad's in the audience, he's always looking for good deals. <laughs> so, is this a good deal? What do you think? Think of this house as a house in the greatest neighborhood, but the worst house in that great neighborhood. What is the number one rule in real estate? Location, location, location. You can change the house, but you cannot change the location, right? What if I told you that there are actually resources out there that will help even an FHA buyer compete with an all-cash buyer? to transform this house into their American green home, okay? Energy efficient, uh, energy efficient mortgage is a program where a home bo a, a, a borrower, whether you're a homeowner or a, a home buyer, you're automatically approved for an extra 5% on your loan to do energy efficient repairs on that such home. So for easy math, a $300,000 loan, you're pre-approved for an extra 5%, it doesn't add to your DTI, your debt to income ratio, you're automatically approved, okay? A $300,000 home gives you $15,000 in your back pocket to do energy efficient repairs. How does that sound to you? Is that something that is doable, right? Okay. Another product that we work that we have out there is a 203k rehab loan program. Oops. This works hand in hand with energy uh, energy efficient mortgage. It is suitable for as is market, like the picture that I showed you a minute ago. Uh, it finances it finances both the purchase and the rehab of that property and it, it does not limit you to just energy efficient repairs on that home. It, you could use it for flooring, for paint, to add a new deck, to do an, another addition or what have you. This is a perfect, um, uh, a perfect program for someone who, who's, who wants to get into that, you know, to the, the, to the rehabilitation, uh, real estate rehab programs, okay? We also, oh, but I, I, wanna, I wanna make this a point. If you know, anybody here looking to, to buy a house soon and utilizing the FHA program? No? Okay, well, just FYI, an FHA program, if you use this, if you have your realtor actually, instead of a regular FHA, to use a 203K rehab program, that will, that offer will stand out against an all-cash buyer and, uh, and uh, a conventional buyer, okay? So that lets you in. Another program is called the Streamline 203K program. Uh, this is also an FHA product. It also works hand-in-hand -hand with energy-efficient mortgages. However, it is for non-structural repairs only. So if you have any foundation issues, you cannot use this program. You have to use the full on 203K. Uh, it's for less extensive work or improvement and it has a $35,000 um, limit. Now, if you're utilizing this program, it's a fixer upper and you utilize the EEM program on top of that, that gives you $50,000 in your back pocket to, re to do any type of repair, okay? 
Is that interesting enough for you all? So these are the street strategic financing options for purchases and refis. Real quick, just a real quick snapshot. Also, if you are working with a realtor and you are purchasing a home, any home that closes escrow by December 31st to 2013, that realtor can utilize the Realtors Energy Audit Program where the California Association of Realtors can actually give you up to $250 to do energy audits on your home so that you know exactly what are the type of energy efficient repairs that you need to do. Okay. So practical tips, work with a certified green realtor. Ensure that your realtor has a green team in place to make sure that everybody's clear on the timelines and how to actually put that offer in. A mortgage lender that is, uh, that, that is knowledgeable on this product so that the escrow closes on time and no one is disappointed. Okay, and financing recap program, just a real quick re a recap. It can be used to finance as is properties that buyers would not otherwise have access to. Home buyers and homeowners can get a better house while qualifying for the rebates under the Energy Upgrade California program. And there are many, many strategic financing options available out there. If you guys have any questions, I, you know, I, I, I will be here available to answer some questions later on. Uh, Select a, a team of professionals. This is very, very important. Select a team of professionals that actually know what it is that they, they're doing, that they've actually done these projects and, and these types of um, products before, okay? So I'm going to leave you with Dr. Stephen Chu's words. He is a former U U.S. Secretary of uh, Department of Energy, block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, we will make our communities more energy efficient and help families save money at the same time, we'll create thousands of jobs and strengthen our economy. Thank you very much for your support, my family as well as the rest of the audience for being here and for your interest. Again, my name is Marcia Tolentino and I am with Build It Green. Thank you. Are there any questions out there? We have two minutes. Yes, you want to come up? To Hi, thank you. Um, I just have a question about the labels. Uh, so you named a couple of different ones. Are there ones that are more stringent than the other ones? Um, well, we're here in California, and Greenpoint Rated is here uh, in California. It is a California product, and I do work for Build It Green. It's a Build It Green product. And what differentiates Greenpoint Rated is, one, it's a stepping stone, and it's for homes, for all homes out there. Whether your home was built in 1920 or the 1800s, or if it was built 10 years ago, it is your way into getting your green label. The, uh, another label that's very popular out there is LEED, you know, LEED for Homes. However, LEED for Homes is awesome. It is an awesome product. However, it requires a homeowner as well as, you know, or any builder out there or um, commercial building that's going through a uh, renovation to do a total gut rehab. So those are more astringent repairs versus the Greenpoint rated where it actually includes everybody. It's also, you know, it's uh, for, for newcomers, people that are just coming into the home market, okay? Anybody else? Yes, just, just to follow up, what would be the process for uh, getting the um, I could barely hear. What would be the process for getting the Greenpoint uh, rating? Would we contact you directly or other companies? Yeah, you can, you can con contact uh, Build It Green directly. You can contact me for some questions and I can direct you. Uh, but the very, very first process for any type of uh, green labeling and energy efficient uh, uh, jobs or projects is to have your home assessed first. 
okay? Because it's it's just like looking at ourselves that are, you know, when we're ill, we don't go to the doctor with a headache and say, open me up because I have a headache or I have a stomach ache, so therefore open up my stomach. You know, they need to do extensive uh, tests before they can tell you what it is that they you need to do with yourselves, your health. Well, it's, a, it's the same thing with, uh, uh, with your home. It needs an assessment so that you know, as a homeowner, what exactly do I need to do and what are my choices. The, the contractor, a contractor that's actually uh, been trained and knowledgeable in building science are the, are the best contractors to, uh, to help you. You can look into uh, Energy Upgrade California website and it can direct you to, uh, to the uh, contractors that have been trained on this, okay? I hope that answered your question. Again, thank you very much and have a great day.